Big bore FAC air rifles are controversial and the ownership can be complicated. Many people hate them, especially on the continent where in countries such as Germany you can't even shoot a rat with a plinker. But these guns do have a big following in the USA and the Netherlands where you don't need a licence, and the larger calibres are becoming increasingly popular here in the UK. There has been a whole wood's worth of negative press thanks to air gunners shooting larger and larger game, prompting the question, just because you can, does it mean you should? Well, today we're going to try and at least partly address that issue. Will Roy Lupton feel confident enough to shoot a fox with this 30 calibre FX Boss? To help us through today's experiments, we've invited along Phil Price, technical editor of Airgun World and Airgunner magazines, to give us some specialist input and some air. The whole purpose of today is to see, one, the accuracy, and two, if it's an air rifle that you could feasibly use in the field to shoot something, and we were thinking along the lines of possibly a fox. Personally, I've got my, my doubts using FAC air rifles with you know, with animals up to the size of foxes, but what's, what's your, your thoughts on it? It is spectacularly accurate, I will say that. We tested it out to 100 yards. It's probably shooting about an inch and a quarter, which is, I've never so, seen an air gun that accurate. Right. However, you have always got the trajectory to consider, yeah. but it does shoot huge, heavy 50 grain pellets, huge amounts of energy, and it's accurate. Yeah. I think just got to be careful how far you're going to go with it. Would you confidently shoot a fox with a, an FAC air rifle? With this I would, yeah, out right. to about 50 yards. No doubt it would have pretty much the same terminal effect as a, as a rimfire, right. but I wouldn't want to go any further than that. that. Before Roy points the FX at anything with a heartbeat, we want to make sure there's no doubt about its accuracy. Then we'll look at its ability to kill animals outright. We're going to kick off at around about 50 yards, which is about the maximum range that I'm happy to shoot foxes at with a, a 2-2 rimfire. So we're going to get them both zeroed there. We're then going to drop the target back a little bit and just see what the drop-off is. At 50 yards, the rimfire and the FX have no problem hitting the centre of the target. At 60 yards, without holdover, it's a different story. So then we've moved back out to 60 and we've got a hell of a drop off there. So just within the 10 yards, what's that? we've just got two and a half, three inches of drop. So that really has sort of fallen away quite a lot. So if we move back up to the rimfire, so first shot, just clipping on the 10 there at 50 and then we've dropped about an inch. So if we had a fox coming out, you just bring it up a little bit and just aim on the top of his head. Um, whereas you've got a lot more margin for error using the 30 calibre air rifle. Right, time to move on to the fox heads and Phil thinks the FX is going to deliver. At the right distance, yeah, I'm confident it will fully penetrate the fox's skull. Clearly we know the rimfire rounds work. Enough people use them, we've all done it. We, we know it's an effective round. Um, and I think at short range, I think the boss is going to give it a good run for its money. We're going to try some with skin on, some with skin off, and we're going to be shooting them all the different calibres at 50 yards. We're going to do the, the sub 12 foot pound air rifle at 50, just to show how inefficient a, a sub 12 foot pound air rifle would be at, uh, at a Fox, um, and just to show that it's not something that we recommend. We are going to shoot the FAC air rifle, which is pumping out at around about 77 foot pounds. So hopefully we're going to get a full penetration um, if it's lodged in there then we'll uh, we'll try and have a delve about and see what we can find so we'll start off with a couple without skin on and then we'll leave a couple with the skin on as well we're going to start with the webley raider air gun in 2-2 the reason for using a sub 12 foot pound air rifle is to show its weaknesses not its strengths it's a fantastic tool but it's not accurate or powerful enough to kill a fox and certainly not at 50 yards Roy has three shots at the target. One misses the fox head completely, but the other two find the head. One shot has gone in near the eye. The other looks like it might have bounced off the top of the skull. This is quite soft here, and it's entered the socket behind the eye, but I'm not quite sure how far it's gone in. So we'll open that up and have a look. And you can see here, I'm not sure if it's penetrated here or just skimmed the skull. So we'll just take back the top layer of muscle here. And we can actually see that the pellet has just punched a small hole in the skull here. Obviously it's not gone anywhere else. We'll just open that up and see exactly how far the pellet went in. So that, that really has surprised me from the 2-2 and it's, um, I'm not overly happy because I really wouldn't want to shoot a fox 
with a 2-2 like that. So we'll just open up and see where these pellets are tracked to. Yeah, here we go, look. So if we'd shot here on the fox, you can see the pellet's gone in here, just tracked along and into the soft tissue. Bearing in mind that's the weakest part of the fox's skull, just on the side of the muzzle here, just in front of the eye socket. Now, all that pellet would have done is to really upset the fox, blinded it in the right eye, but it certainly wouldn't have killed it. That fox would have been running about in a lot of pain and a lot of agony. So that again, just confirms that I really would not want to shoot a fox with a sub 12 foot pound air rifle at that sort of range. And we'll just have a look inside and see if we can see where the other pellet's gone in here. Hang on, where are we? Oh no, here we go, there's a shard of lead there. So yeah, what the pellet's actually done is it's broken up, it's hit the fox's skull and the pellet has actually split. So we've, we've just got a shard of the pellet has gone into the skull, but not penetrated that deeply. It would have probably just gone in um, and uh, upset him a little bit. So although it would have been writhing around again, it's not, I'm, I'm not confident that that would have been an all out kill shot. So uh, that coupled with the inaccuracy at that sort of range, because the pellets are being affected very heavily by all the external factors such as wind, really does just go to confirm that uh, I would not want to shoot a fox um, morally or ethically uh, with a, a sub 12 foot pound air rifle. Time for the FX boss. The skull has received a devastating blow and the guys are impressed. That's 77 foot pounds at muzzle, that's a lot of energy and at 50 yards that's still carrying a hell of a load of clout. I, I'm really genuinely impressed just how hard that hit. That's hit, And that's yeah. humane. That is a humane hit. Humane kill. No, that's yeah. it. No, without, without a shadow of a doubt, you can't, uh, you can't really question that. And a huge, you know, huge difference between the, uh, the little 2-2, 12 foot pound. And you can feel here, the rest of the, the skull is absolutely shattered from the, uh, the impact and the energy transferring through the skull. So it's broken all the way across here. So there is no way that fox would have been going anywhere. Finally, let's see what the 2-2 rimfire has to offer. It again does the job efficiently and there's not much to separate the last two rifles. There are some who wouldn't use a 2-2 rimfire on a fox at 50 yards. You know, comparably to the, uh, the sort of wind channel that we got from the air rifle, it's, uh, it's pretty much on a par, isn't it? I would say it is, yeah. Roy is convinced that with accurate rangefinding, he would be happy to shoot a fox with the FX out to 50 yards. I still can't summarise from my own perspective quite where it fits in because if you've got a rim fire, you'd probably use the rim fire over yeah, over using absolutely. this. Absolutely, but I mean there are people out there who just love air guns. Yep, have got a slot on their ticket, would want one. You know, who wouldn't want a thirty caliber air gun? Exactly. No, I mean it's yeah, a, it's a it's, tremendous thing. Yeah, is it better than a rim fire? No. Yeah, but yeah, as you say, I mean a fantastic piece of engineering and yeah. works incredibly yeah. well. If you have any thoughts on FAC air rifles, please let us know and we'll read out some of the clean ones next week. And if you want to find out more information about the FX Boss, go to a-s-i.co.uk.